In tonight's Health Watch, a surprising way to help lower a woman's risk for deadly ovarian cancer. It might be as simple as using a certain type of birth control. Dr. Max Gomez here now to tell us what it is and whether it might work for you. Doctor. That's right. And you know, ovarian cancer is indeed deadly. Nearly 14,000 women will die of the disease this year. The birth control that might be protective is an intrauterine device, or IUD. IUDs are known to lower the risk for many gynecologic cancers, including endometrial, cervical, and now ovarian. Tolerable. For five years, Amy Dixon Plackey has battled ovarian cancer with chemotherapy, clinical trials, radiation, and more. Even now, she's in treatment. I won't be cured, but I'll just live with this as a chronic disease, much like, you know, if someone who had diabetes or, you know, arthritis. Amy has an inherited genetic mutation known to increase the risk of ovarian cancer, and tests show so does her daughter, Abby. That was pretty hard for me to take. It was shocking and um, obviously scary. But unbeknownst to the Plackies, Abby's choice for birth control, an IUD, may actually reduce her risk. The Plackies oncologist is Dr. Sakath Guntapali at University of Colorado Health. He and Dr. Lindsay Wheeler are two of the doctors at the UC School of Medicine who analyzed 11 international studies. We found that the risk of ovarian cancer was decreased when a patient had a history of IUD use. The risk reduction ranged from 15 to as much as 32 percent. The theory is it may be tied to the hormones in some IUDs or the increase in immune cells due to an IUD's slightly inflammatory effect. Both effects could play a role. We know that immune cells are increasingly being thought of as being involved in cancer prevention. Either way for the Plackies, it's a win. It's just terrific. I do genuinely feel like it's a big step in the right direction. Now, it used to be thought that IUDs are for women who already had a baby, but that's no longer the case. Most women can use one if they choose, uh, with few exceptions, such as a type of IUD that releases hormones, which may not be right for breast cancer survivors. And as we always say, talk to, <laughs> to your doctor. Your doctor. That's where you got to get it. Thank you, doctor. Thank